Welcome back students and welcome to our first Reader's Workshop. So Reader's Workshop, I know you had it in kindergarten, is when we learn all about reading, strategies for reading, things we can do to become better readers. And something that's really important in reading is having good habits. Just like we have to have good habits at home, we have to have the habit of brushing our teeth, we have to have the habit of um, taking a bath or a shower. Those are all good habits. Uh, we have to keep our mouth closed when we're chewing our food. Those are all good habits. Um, and now we have that new good habit of plugging in your iPad at night to charge before you go to bed every night, right? That's a big new habit everyone has to remember. I have to remember it too, making sure I plug in everything before I go to bed. Um, but readers have to have good habits. And so we're gonna start off with learning about how readers, readers build good habits. So, the first most important um, habit that readers have to do, have to have is to take a sneak peek. To take a sneak peek at the beginning of a book. So what that means is, when I grab a book, do I just plunge in and start reading the book? No, I'm always, I'm always careful to be sure that I take a sneak peek, uh, that's peek, a look, at the cover to start with. So I'm gonna read this book to you today, but I'm gonna start off by taking a sneak peek. Oh, so I think some of you might recognize this from kindergarten. Um, and before I even try to read the title or the name of the book, I'm going to sneak peek what I know and I'm going to talk about, talk to myself about what I see. I see a family in bed. Wow, there's a mom and a dad and there's one, two, three children. There's a little stuffy, like a little stuffed bear. There's a dog. I gotta say, that's a lot of people to fit into that bed. Hmm. I wonder if the bed is going to be too full. Maybe it's a story about the bed being too full. Oh, and down here I see a little crack. Uh-oh. And do I see anything on the back? I see some words. I see some stars and it's kind of blue. So maybe like it's nighttime. Maybe the story happens at night. And there's the little bear again. So now that I took my sneak peek, and when I did my sneak peek, I thought, hmm, it's about a family and it's bedtime, and maybe it's about them all trying to fit in the bed. Okay, now I'm gonna try to read the title. Creak, said the bed. Oh, creak, hey, that was like my welcome and my message to you. It's all in capital letters, so I think they really want us to give it some oomph. Okay, so, creak, said the bed, by Phyllis Root, illustrated by Regan Dunnick. And the end papers are again some stars so I'm thinking that's more like it's gonna be at night creek said the bed oh here's the title page remember the title page is the page where they have the title again and sure enough I can see it's nighttime it's nighttime on the title page and there's the house the stars a little smoke coming out of the chimney by Phyllis Root, illustrated by Regan Dunnick. And guess what? Do you know you have to remember to sneak peek every page too, just a little, okay? So again, I see now just the mom and dad in bed, in the bedroom, and the door's closed, but it's open a little bit. Okay, here we go. One dark night, in the middle of the night, Mama and Papa were snoozing in bed went the door okay so were we right because that's another habit you have to have once you have a sneak peek you want to be sure to check your sneak peek right so that you know you're on track that you have the right idea about what the story's about so were we right were we right about what we thought the book was going to be about yes Give me a thumbs up, we were. We thought it was at night. We thought it was about the mom and dad. Oh, but we we said we thought it was gonna be about everybody getting in the bed. We're not sure about that part yet. Okay, here we go. Oh, I hear a funny sound and the camera is wobbling. Guess what? That means we have a little visitor. 
Hold on a minute. Who is this little visitor? Hello, oh, the visitor just ran away. Hold on. So this was the little visitor. This is one of my cats. I have three cats. And this is Bibi. She's the littlest one. She's maybe two or three. Anyway, she wants to go out, so I'm going to let her out, and I'll be right back. Okay, let's get back to the story. You know what? When you have to stop reading and there's a bit of a break, sometimes it's good to go back and reread because I kind of forget what was going on. I'm going to go back and reread. Hold on. One dark night in the middle of the night, Mama and Papa were snoozing in bed. Squeak went the door. And Evie said, I'm scared in my room. Can I come in with you? Papa said, snore. And Mama said, sure. There's plenty of room for Evie in the bed. So Evie bounced in. Squeak, said the bed. Let me show you the picture. How do we know that Evie is talking? Does anybody know what that is? Do you remember what that's called? We know she's actually talking because it's a speech bubble, right? There's the speech bubble. And there she is jumping in the bed. That same night, that dark, cold night, Mama and Papa and Evie were snoozing in the bed. Squeak, went the door, and Ivy said, I'm freezing in my bed. Can I come in with you? Papa said, snark. Hmm, maybe that's like, <laughs> and Mama said, sure. There's plenty of room for Ivy in the bed. So Ivy plopped in. Creak, said the bed. So there she is. And plop into the bed. That same night, that dark, cold, windy night, Mama and Papa and Evie and Ivy were snoozing in the bed. Squeak, went the door, and Mo said, It's spooky in my room. Can I come in with you? Papa said, Snorkel. Hmm, what's that like? <laughs> and Mama said, Sure, there's plenty of room for Mo in the bed. So Mo squeaked. Eased in. Creak, said the bed. So I'm going to stop and think for a minute because reading is thinking. You're thinking all the time when you're reading. And I want to be sure to check my sneak peek. I'm thinking. We thought it was about everybody trying to get in the bed and the bed maybe wouldn't be big enough. Okay, we know everybody's squeezing in, so we're on track. I also noticed something else. The creek, the word creek keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. What do you think that means? There it was that big. Then it got a little bigger. <laughs> then it got a little bigger. Oh, I wonder what's gonna happen. Let's see. That same night, that dark, cold, windy, rainy night, Mama and Papa and Evie and Ivy and Mo were all snoozing in bed. <gasps> What's going to happen? There they are all squeezed in. When I see dun dun dun. What's going to happen? <gasps> Boom! Went the thunder. Oh wow, there's a big storm outside. And outside I see their dog peeking out of the doghouse like, <gasps> oh! went the door. Woof, said Fred. Up, Papa popped. Papa cried, stop. There's no more room for Fred in the bed. So there's the dog and there's the family. Do you think that's going to stop the dog from jumping in? But Fred leaped in. Crack, said the bed. Uh-oh. Snuff, 
said Fred. Mama and Evie and Ivy and Mo said snore. They didn't even wake up. Papa scratched his head. And Papa said, guess there's plenty of room for all of us in the bed. Well, it's true, they are still all in the bed. But I'm not sure that in the morning it will all be okay. One dark night in the middle of the night, in the middle of the bed, in the middle of the floor, Papa said, good night. Creak, said the floor. Here's a new crack starting. The end. That was fun. And I bet a lot of you recognize this story from kindergarten, right? Yeah. Creek said the bed. And whenever we finish a book, we got to do something, right? I think they taught you that in kindergarten, and we'll talk about that again on other days. But right now, I got to do something. I can't just put this book aside and go do something else. I got to stop and think and go back and do something. I want to go back and look at two things. I want to see the picture of the storm. Wow, that was exciting. Boom, look at those big lightning bolts that the illustrator that the, drew in the picture. And there's Fred the dog. <laughs> and also, I'm curious, I remember at the beginning, there was just a little crack in the bed. And we'll see at the very beginning, there's no crack. And then after the first child, jumped in there was a little bitty crack down there yeah they got bigger and bigger and now at the end something else is starting to creak what's starting to creak now the floor what do you think is going to happen hmm. maybe we'll talk about that another day i want you to think what do you think is going to happen next anyway i hope you enjoyed creak said the bed and don't forget Today, when you are reading the next book you pick up, I want to be sure that you work on your good habits. Be sure you take a sneak peek before you start reading and check your sneak peek as you go through your book to make sure that you're, that you're on track, that you're thinking, because reading is thinking, and make sure you're on track. Okay, see you later.